Amsterdam Calling. So pick up. Hi and welcome to another episode of Amsterdam Calling. Did you know Amsterdam has over 50 small museums? They all have great collections and you can discover things there that you cannot find anywhere else. Now we've already shown you about half of them, but today we're going to show you three more of the great small museums of Amsterdam. <laughs> The Grachtenhuis, or Museum of Canals, preserves and tells the 400-year history of the Amsterdam Canals. The museum has impressive interactive displays that help you learn about the canal's unusual creation and see how the Grachtengordel, or canal ring, evolved into what it looks like today. We have just received a brief introduction to the history of Amsterdam in the 1600s on how the city population grew, attracted immigrants, merchants and basically to the point that it became unmanageable. So a plan was required in order to expand the city. I'm listening to how the most important people involved in the city expansion are discussing how to plan the canal bell. If you look here, you can actually see little man inside building the house on the other side here. I mean, in a relatively short time period, you experience the entire history of the canal belt as if you were there in person. Besides their useful functions, there's no denying the beauty of our canals. And that's why many people choose to live on them in a houseboat. And if you've ever wondered what it's like to live inside one of them, you can find out now because we're going inside the houseboat museum. The museum is housed in an old freighter boat which is moored on the Prinsengracht in the Jordaan area. Its name is Hendrika Maria, and she was built in 1914 to haul sand. In 2008 it was fully restored to mostly resemble how it looked like when it was first built. And this is the room where the skipper and his family used to live, despite it being very small. <laughs> this is where the family used to sleep, and two adults were in this bed here on port side. We are now in the former cargo hold that's been turned into a kitchen and a reception area. The kitchen, everything still works, all the utilities still work, we even have Wi-Fi. We're ready for the living room? Let's go! So we're now in the sleeping nook, which is the modern 1914 edition. It certainly looks like you can rock the boat here. We're now at the Marseille House for Photography, the first photography museum in Amsterdam. They have their own collection of modern photography and host exhibitions of world-renowned photographers. The museum is located in two monumental canal houses that sit side by side. The museum tailors the exhibits specifically for the rooms in the house, which surprisingly are very open and make viewing the photos very easy and comfortable. This picture I love, I think the reflection is great and I appreciate the reference to our past. At first you think these are veiled women, but on second look they are in fact men. I really liked this visit, I thought the photographs were amazing and particularly striking within the historical ambience of the canal houses. These are certainly great examples of how small museums can leave big impressions. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. My name is Sander Outkerk for Amsterdam Calling and I'll see you next time.